If you guys have learned anything from my videos at this point, it's probably that LA is a really expensive city to live in. Rent prices, eating at restaurants, even just parking your car can cost two or three times as much as if you're living in a suburb. So $100 a week is a pretty real budget for a lot of people that are first moving. When I first moved to California, this was probably pretty close to my budget, but I lived in Orange County where things were cheaper. Like there was free parking most places. Postmates didn't even exist yet. I was saving a lot of money that way. If you're moving somewhere where everything is generally cheaper and you're thinking of moving to LA with the same budget, you'll find that you just can't really live the same lifestyle. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys this week. Like what it's actually like if that's your budget. So this is really not how my budget's been lately. I definitely spend way too much money on Postmates and random stuff, like I will admit, but like, let's be real, I'm a little out of touch with what it's really gonna be like on this budget. So I'm using Clio to figure out what I need to cut back on spending, like what I can just stop spending money on. If you guys aren't familiar with Clio, it's a finance app with a bunch of different tools to help analyze and save your money. You basically link any of your bank or credit card accounts and it analyzes how you spend your money, but it does it through the form of an artificial intelligent sort of person that gives you advice and you'll see it's actually pretty funny and definitely very helpful and I'll have the link down below to Clio in the description box so that you guys can go download it so what I found I spend too much money on is food ubers and basically any time that me and my friends go out so you guys saw the rooftop bar video a drink is $18 that's not gonna work if you go out at night and even get just one drink. That's like too much for this budget. I also found I spend too much on fancy coffee drinks. Sometimes with the tip and everything, it's over $5 just for a coffee. When you could totally just make it yourself at home for like 50 cents, so. Cheers to that. Okay, so it's day one. Obviously, since I spend a lot on just eating places, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. So I use Clio just to kind of figure out like how much should I spend. This was gonna be my biggest expense for the week. So Clio budgeted just under $50 would be good. I think I can do this. I'm going to Trader Joe's because it's pretty affordable. So I got food that was actually pretty inexpensive and can last me the whole week. I'm just gonna have oatmeal for breakfast. They're pretty basic meals, nothing crazy. I wanted to get avocados, but I was like, mm, too, probably too expensive. Definitely on a budget, I decided to skip the snack aisle. These are just empty calories anyway, so it's gonna be kind of a waste of money. I spent a really long time, honestly, grocery shopping because I wanted to make sure I didn't spend that much money. I'm also very addicted to caffeine, so instead of getting K-cups, which are a little more expensive, I got normal ground coffee and the cheapest creamer I could find. So at the grocery store, I spent a total of $40. So day one, I had oatmeal, of course. I did the math and this breakfast is basically 70 cents with a banana. So pretty much this entire day, I was collabing on a video. So I wasn't really leaving my house or attempted to buy anything until the evening. Mm. Okay, Trader Joe's. It's, I actually really like this so far. So I've just been filming today. It's I haven't been that tempted to spend money because I've been like at my house like working on videos and stuff. But now I'm going to get drinks with some other YouTubers. So it's gonna be very tempting too, but I'm gonna try and just get water. And I was able to get a ride though from these guys. So I say that, no, we were making a video earlier. <laughs> that sounded like some random people like I hitchhiked. <laughs> Day two of my $100 budget. Cooper, do you think I can survive $100 for five days? If you'll recall, these eggs were a dollar and 39 cents, I'm pretty sure. So I had enough in my budget today to make an omelet for me and Kirsten, who's visiting I'm me. And yeah, probably both of our breakfasts for like a dollar total. Perfect. I owe you a dollar. <laughs> 50 cents. <laughs> Not even. It's on me. Two hours later. Saturday, still kind of lazy. We're saving our energy for the John Mayer concert later, so we're not tempted to like spend any money outside my $100 budget at least. <laughs> I decided to check how much was left in my budget. And as we can see, it's not a whole lot, but I like how I don't have to log into my bank account and add everything up myself. I can just see it all here. So I'm currently researching a happy hour place to go to before we go to the concert. There it is, $1. I also got a margarita 
This was actually a little more. So it ended up being $6 for a margarita and only $3 for tacos. So the total here was only $11.70. $11.70 for dinner in LA is like unheard of, especially if you get a drink. So this was a really good deal. And honestly, it was good. Like I really liked it and we had free chips and salsa. So love that. So we just got to the forum. Parking here is $30 for the cheapest option. So we opted to Uber. <laughs> And we're splitting the Uber, so it's pretty much the same price as if we just drove. Drinks were like $15, so I just got water. This is the last video clip before John Mayer serenades like 15,000 people or however many are here. Okay, so while I was at the concert, I wasn't like really paying that much attention to my budget exactly. So I'm just gonna check on Cleo how much I can spend the next few days. Even though we split the Ubers, it was still $20 each. So I'm at $71.70 already and it's only day two. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. So Cleo said I really couldn't spend any more money on transportation or Ubers. Another day, another bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. Today is really gonna test my willpower. It's Sunday and me and my friends are going to get brunch. And brunch in LA when you're 24 means everyone likes to get bottomless mimosas. But getting a meal and bottomless mimosas and a tip is like $60, so it's not gonna work. One great thing about not getting mimosas is we don't have to pay for an Uber. Actually, that's true, so I'm benefiting from this video as well. Yeah, and so it's like an Uber probably, we probably would have spent, you know, like maybe about $15 round trip. So before I went to brunch, I asked Cleo how much I could spend just to check, and she basically said around $10 would be fine. So a breakfast burrito is $15, and I think I've convinced Morgan to split it with me. <laughs> $7.50, not bad. Cheers, Morgan. So convincing someone to split a meal with me was the only way this was gonna work. Luckily, Morgan wanted to, and it was still a really fun brunch. Like, you don't have to always get bottomless mimosas. You can just get water, and it'll still be fun. We strategically went to Santa Monica because there's a lot of free parking here, so we got a free parking spot. Then we all decided to go over to this Louis Vuitton free pop-up museum. I gotta say, this place was really cool. I was surprised it's completely free. And usually parking in Beverly Hills can get expensive, but my lucky day. I totally forgot it's Sunday, so public parking is free today. Oh, yeah. Guess how much the parking is here in Beverly Hills. Oh, 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 I guess. 20 bucks. I told Ten. you to park in the neighborhood. It's right. free! Shut up! Oh. So this was really cool, and there's a lot of other museums in LA. There's definitely free things to do on the weekend in LA in general. Like they could definitely charge for this for dinner. Just made some chicken and rice. It's probably like less than five dollars. Okay, I just found a feature that says hype me or roast me. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Kind of excited. First, let's do hype me. Time ready? Yes, I'm ready. You've been spending less recently. Yeah, I have. Thanks for noticing. We've dropped some online shopping. Want to see? Oh, I like the background. Oh, all my Amazon purchases. Love that. Uh, oh, it told me how much I made. Or also like, don't your life. I love that. It's like, oh, maybe like. You know, here's a suggestion, but you know what? Your life, like do what you want. We're done, we're ready, let's go kill it. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> okay, let's try roast me. Tough love coming, awesome. Let's hear it. So I've just had a look at your most expensive recent purchase. Oh, it was like my business account doing payroll to myself. Okay, show me the other ones. What are they? $186 in bank charges? I didn't even know I had that. So thanks Cleo. I think I'm gonna be looking at new banks or something. I just love how they text like a friend. Like for an AI thing, they're actually really good at it. You're basically losing in a race where you're the only person competing. Ouch. I'm literally just going to stare at, make you stare at how much money you've spent in the last 19 months. I am, I can't even show you guys cause you're gonna be like, Maybe one day I will. Um, I had no idea I spent that much. That's insane. It's honestly shocking when they add it up in 19 months. Like you guys should download Cleo and look and comment below what your total was because. Mm. You probably think I'm getting 
getting sick of eating this by now, but I'm not kidding. This is just what I eat every morning anyway, so. Okay, before I actually like really start my day, let's see how much money it says I can spend for the next two days. So Cleo said I only had $18.30 left to last two more days. I still have a ton of food at home, so I can't really randomly spend money, but this should be totally doable. It is Monday. I actually have so much I need to finish just on my computer for the next two days. So I really shouldn't be tempted to spend any money because I have food here. Three hours later. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm gonna have breakfast for lunch. You know, breakfast is the best meal of the day. Here she is. Eventually. Free thing to do. Go on a walk and listen to music. It's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm just taking a break from editing and then I'm gonna go back to it. Having dinner. Same thing as yesterday. It's just that same chicken and same rice. And I'm trying, I'm having some Trader Joe's $2 wine. It's the last day. I think that learning to like oatmeal is probably one of the best things you can do for your bank account. After the five days, I still have half of this left, so I should be good for next week too, which is pretty awesome. Again, this day I was mostly editing and finishing up projects on my computer, so I wasn't really tempted to spend money. Good thing it's the last day because I'm down to my last three eggs. Having the last of the chicken, I still have some rice. Me and Morgan are watching the Bachelor in Paradise finale. We really wanted to post me, but we didn't. We got popcorn that I already had, so free for Shelby. <laughs> I had my nasty wine and I put some frozen raspberries in it. It tastes a little better. Okay, I have to tell the truth to you guys. I just postmated an ice cream sandwich. But my roommates did too, and so it was only like $5. Since we split the Postmate order between three people, it was only $6.71 each. Still way too much for an ice cream sandwich, but I finished the week off at $88.41, so I was like treating myself, you know? Okay, so that was me trying to survive on $100 in LA. I found that really the most difficult part of this challenge is just having a social life is expensive. I think in every major city, it, everyone wants to, you know, get lunch or get dinner, or get a drink. That's one of the main ways people get together across America, really. And it really does add up. I did find that going to happy hours really cut that down, not drinking. Alcohol, obviously, is so expensive at restaurants. Also, if you guys couldn't tell by now, I'm sure you could tell by now, this video was sponsored by Clio, the finance app that I've been using throughout this video. I think this app is really cool. It does help you stay on a budget, especially with having a few different accounts. This makes it a lot easier to see just where all your money is. Another really cool feature with this app is you can create a wallet, which is like your own bank account with Clio. You can set up a budget and then set up an amount that you automatically want Clio to move over to your wallet as a savings account. And the really cool thing is this savings account gets a 2% interest rate. And it's cool how it analyzes what you're spending too much money on, what you could cut back on so that it can help you automatically save and put it in this different account. You can also add the bills you have so that when you're making a budget it's easier to see the expenses you just already have and are going to continue to have or in my case it helped me find stuff that I was paying for that I totally forgot about like an eyebrow membership that I haven't used in six months yeah canceled that really glad it helped me find that there's so many monthly subscription things like chances are you have forgot about one that you're paying for that alone should make you want to use Clio. Another cool feature is you can literally just ask, how much money can I spend on dinner tonight? And it'll give you an answer. So if I say, can I afford a pizza? It'll say, I think you'll spend about this much this month, which means if you spend an extra $10 on a pizza, you'll go over your budget of $100. I'm gonna link it below. It's just Clio like this. So if you guys wanna look in the app store, you can check it out there too. But I think this is an awesome app. It'll really help you set a budget, stick to it, save more money, like, actually do it rather than just have the thought of doing it and then still spending more money. So that is it for this video. Comment down below what you guys thought and what living on a $100 budget for a week would be like where you're from. Would it be doable for you, do you think? Or would it be kind of hard? I'm interested to know, so comment that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.